सो हेलो एवरी ओन वेलकम टू दिस भिडियो दिस इज लेक्चर नम्बर नाइनटी टू अलरेडी नाइनटी वन लेक्चर आर्स कवर्ड एंड द लिंक इज गिवेन इन डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉस एक्चुअली यू वॉन्ट टू सल्व दि सप्लीमेंटरी प्रब्लम अफ दि भिक्टर एनसिस बै एम एस फाइजल बुक यू नो दिस इज वेरी इम्पर्टेंट फर फिजिक्स एस वेल एज फर सुपर मैथामेटिक्स दैट से वी डिसाइड टू सल्व दि सप्लीमेंटरी प्रब्लम अफ दिस बुक इन दिस भिडियो यू वॉन्ट टू सल्व दि सप्लीमेंटरी प्रब्लम एट पॉइंट नाइन सिक्स टू एट पॉइंट वन जिरो टू अफ टेंसर एनालिसिस सो लेट स्टार्ट उथ क्वेश्चन नंबर और सप्लीमेंटरी प्रॉब्लम एट पॉइंट नाइन सिक्स हुई सेज दैट दिस इज आर टेंसर शो दैट दे आर समेशन दैट समेशन इज सिमेट्रिक टेंसर एंड द डिफारेंस उल बी स्क्यू सिमेट्री टेंसर ओके दिस विल बी आ स्क्यू सिमेट्रिक tensor so since this is a tensor we can write that the transformation property of tensor you know that is very well that is p x x j x q x r x k x s x l into A P Q R S clear. This is the transformation. Now take this R P Q uh, R S, which is nothing but the summation of A P Q R S plus A Q P S R. Okay. Now if we transform that is the Q P and the S R just interchange, so you will be get this is Q P just P in Uh, p replaced by q and q replaced by p similarly uh, s replaced by uh, r replaced by s s replaced by r so just replacing we get this and this will be p q s r you can see these two are same so this will be like p q r s so this is a symmetry this is a symmetry similarly if we take another uh, tensor that is p q R S, which is the difference of this P Q and R S minus Q P into S R, right? So if you change uh, P Q, that is this will be Q, this will be P, and this is S, this is R, then is become this is Q, this is P, this is R, this is S minus this is P, this is Q, this is R, this is. So if you take the minus common, you will be get a P Q R S, and this is A Q P S R, so this is nothing but S P Q R S. So this will be skew symmetry. This is the skew symmetry. I think clear. If there is any doubt, you must comment in the comment box. Next, suppose this R skew symmetry tensor. That means A P Q is equals to minus A Q P. And B R S is equals to minus B S R. If we change this, this will be minus. Now, so that this is a symmetric matrix. So C P Q R S is given as C P Q R S is given as a P Q B R S. So this is Q P and this is S R. This is Q P and this is S R. So this is Q P and this is S R. So this Q P is nothing but minus A P Q, and this is nothing but minus B uh, R S. So minus minus are positive. So A P Q B R S A P Q B R S is the C P Q R S. So this can be a symmetric tensor. Symmetric. Clear. Go to the next question. Suppose a tensor is symmetric. Suppose a tensor is symmetric. Suppose this and uh, suppose a tensor like that, P Q R S is symmetric. Suppose this is a symmetric. Clear? Uh, our repeated contraction of the uh, tensor. If we repeated contraction, then also it will be symmetric. So this will be matrix. So this obviously follow up this transformation. That is del x i bar by del x p, del x r by del x p into del x j bar by del x q 
इंटू डेल एक्स आर बाई डेल एक्स के इंटू डेल एक्स एस बाई डेल एक्स एल क्लियर इंटू ए पी क्यू आर एस सिंपल नाउ इफ वी पुट दैट इज J equals to L. Put J equals to L. J equals to L. So what will we get? That is I L K L del X I del X P del X Z. No no no. J is L. So this is L del X Q del X R del X K bar. And this is del x s del x l bar, and this is a p q r s. Now we can see there is two term that is there is two term that is this and that. This will gives you a delta function. This two gives a delta function that is x i bar del x p. And this is del x r, del x k, and this will gives you delta q s into a p q r s. Okay, and you can see here this s and q are equal, so you can write here that is del x i bar del x p into del x r del x k bar. And this will becomes this Q N is equal to you can write P S and this R S. This is a one construction. Now, if we follow up the second construction, that is, if you choose that I is equals to K, if you choose this, so you can write this is I is K K L and this is also K L. So this will K this X P this X R this X. Sorry, K, and this is P S R S. So this become delta. This is R and P A P S R S. So this become A R S R S. Clear. Now if you change this K and L. Now if you change this uh, K and L. This will be symmetry. That is, these two are equal. So this will be symmetry. If you change this, this will not a change. So this will be KL. This KL is equals to a SR. SR. There is no a, a variation. This will be the symmetry. Okay, in case of skew symmetry, also you will get a negative sign. This is will be the negative in case of skew symmetry. Actually, we need to equal this to coefficient. This is a mistake. Actually, we need to j equals to i equals to j. We take need to i equals to j. I think there is a mistake myself. This is i equals to j. So j j. This is J. Uh, just repeat yourself. I, I I request you just do yourself. Do your self. You can do this. Just put I equals to J and then you put K equals to L. Take those two things. Okay. Sorry for this. Take this to I equal to J and K equal to J. Uh, this process. This process follow up. I uh, uh, we can we, you can. See that this will be symmetric. Go to the next question. Prove that this is equals to zero. That is the skew symmetry tensor. This is will be skew symmetry. So this will be minus skew p. This is this is this is the skew symmetry. So you can write this will be the minus skew p. Just if we change this coefficient, this will be minus. Right. So if we multiply both side, if we multiply both side by x to the r p, x to the r q, what we will be get q p x to the power 
थ्री एक्स टू दी पावर क्यू एक्चुअली क्यू ओके सो दिस इज नथिंग बट दी इफ वी चेंज दी स्कोपिशियंट पी एंड क्यू सो दिस इज ए पी क्यू दिस इज क्यू दिस इज पी So if you take in the left hand side, this is a p q x to the power p x to the power q plus a p q x to the power p x to the power q. We can interchange this to zero. So two into this zero. So a p q x to the power p x to the power q also zero. Right. Go to the next one. That is what is the largest number of different component that symmetric coherent tensor of rank two. We can be when when n equals to four, n equals to six, and any number of n. Actually, rank two, you know, this is a vector, and this can be written in the matrix form. The rank two means a vector quantity. You know, this is a vector quantity, and vector can be represented by matrix. So we can solve this by matrix method. So if you take a n by four, n n n n equals to four, so there is a Four by four matrix like that: a one two, a one three, a one four, a two one, a two two, a sorry, three one, a four one. This is a two two, a two three, a two four. This is a three two, a three three, a three four. This is a four two, a four three, a four four. Right. So this is a four by four matrix <coughs> when n equals to four. For 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 what symmetric matrix? For symmetric matrix mean these term are actually will be counted. This term will be counted independent coordinates and these are actually equal to that term, right? This term are the same. So what will be the independent? They are in this line. There is four. In this line, there is three, two. One, so this will give you ten. Clear. Next, when n equals to six, in the similar process, you can see the six, five, four, three, two, one, twenty-one. So in this process, in case of n, this will be n, n minus one, n minus two, n minus three, and two one. Okay, so you can see this is the summation of the n integer. So this is n into n plus one by two. Clear? I think clear. Next, how to many distinct non-zero component? How to many distinct non-zero component apart from different sign? Uh, skew symmetric coherent of third rank three. When we go to the rank three, then it becomes the independent, independent or the call, 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 call. Distinct non-zero component. Distinct non-zero component. Distinct non-zero component. Distinct non-zero component is the n c three. This is nothing but n factorial three factorial n minus three factorial. So if you component n into n minus one, n minus two Into n minus three factorial, this will be cancelled out, and three factorial is six. So this is the number of independent non-zero component. Next, suppose this is a tensor. This is a tensor, right? Prove that double contraction yield an invariant. So you need to contract in double, right? So. Write down since this is a tensor, you can write I Z K L equals to del X I, del X P, del X J, del X Q, and del X R, del X K, del X S, del X L into A P Q R S. Clear? So, if we take z equals to l, if we take z equals to l, so what will we get? Z will become l, k l, del x i, del x p, del x j becomes l, 
del x q del x r del x bar k del x s del x l or there is a bar a p q r s so these two term these two term in this similar process this will be like that this two term gives you delta that is s and q q a p q r s so this becomes s right so this become s so you can write del x i del x p del x r del x k and this is p s r s right p s r s these two are equal now if we take that is i equals to k if we take i equals to k so this is i equals to k k l k l equals to del x i equals to k del x p del x r del x k a p s r s so these two again are delta function that is r p and p s r s so these two are equal so this is r s this is also sorry 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 a r s r s so there is no differentiation so this is a invariant 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 means tensor of rank 0 tensor tensor of rank 0 tensor of rank 0 clear i think clear and this is all about me this is my contact details and this is my youtube channel details go to this channel you will be get the all video which already uploaded uh, you can see there is a part of the classical mechanics also cover and uh, other mathematical methods also cover you can watch from this and share this video to your friends and subscribe this channel if you new in this channel and those already subscribed thanks for subscribing and press the bell icon to get the notification of upcoming video so take care we will meet in the next video as soon as possible thank you